is Amber Zinke with Evolve Electrical. I'm going to be showing you some of the amazing new features that are in 5.0. There's about 70 changes and updates. To kick it off, we're going to be talking about placing hangers. A lot of amazing enhancements were made to our hanger placement feature. You're still able to place hangers automatically, but now you're able to create different placement profiles, which will allow you to define your settings once. And then in other areas, you're able to then just choose from a drop down of all the different profiles. Two other awesome new features in 5.0 are our ability to do mirror lock hangers and create different collision detections. In this situation here, I'm going to have my collision detection off. And as you can see, these hangers are clashing with this pipe. In this situation, I'm going to have my same settings and do my same profile, but I'm gonna turn on the collision adjustments. So the most amazing part about the collision detection, it will detect the clash, fix it when it's possible, and highlight the clash a different color if it's not possible to fix. As you can see in this situation, the clashes were averted and the hangers are not hitting this pipe. In this situation here, I'm going to do, again, similar settings, but I'm going to have my collision turned on and I'm going to have my highlight color be orange. And then as you can see, my hanger is now clashing with this duct and there's no possible way to remove this clash, so it's highlighted orange. We're also able to clear the clashes. The Optimize Ben features allow for a streamlined workflow for prefabrication and design optimization. Within a few clicks, your bends will visually look like they will in the field. Optimize Ben Consume Adjacent will optimize both the nose and the tail. Optimize Ben Consume Selected End will allow you to choose if you want the nose or tail to be optimized. From there, then you can use the aligned couplings to make sure that everything is nice and aligned. You also have the ability to do the aligned bend command, which will make sure that all of your bends are nice and aligned. You also are able to then go in and align the couplings after the fact. Now with placing cabling between devices, you can choose to have the cabling be connected to the bottom of the device. Also, there will be a delete cable feature that allows you to quickly delete cables between devices and remove any data. After coordinating your project and making sure your project does not clash with any other traits, now you're ready to be able to make prefab drawings. Evolve is amazing for automating the process of generating sheets. Let's say I want to be able to create a spool map of all of these spooled elements. I'm able to then quickly define a prefab package right within my spool manager. But you're also able to create, modify, and remove prefab packages within your view as well. So let's say I wanna modify this already created prefab package to include these other elements. Another amazing thing is the fact that in our new 5.0 release, we have new enhancements that allow you to include elements that are not spooled in your prefab package. And then from there, I'm going to be creating two other prefab packages right in the view here. So you're just gonna select your elements that you want to include in your prefab package and then press finish. I have these two views set up, so based on my filters, it'll change color for my different spool maps. And then from there, you can go into your spool manager and go to your prefab packages. You also have the ability to sort your spools by your prefab package. But from there, you can select your prefab packages and generate sheets right within your spool manager. So you're gonna choose your title block and then press finish. So what's really amazing is you have the full customization to choose what schedules and views you want to be included in your sheets. There are new penetration features that will give you the ability to quickly place sleeves and box outs. Also, if you need a box out instead of the individual sleeves, there is a feature called convert to box out, which will convert the sleeves to a box out automatically for you. There is a new quick tool called Assign Level, which will allow you to be able to copy and move elements to the level that you define. 
Also, there is an assign feature, which will allow you to be able to assign the elements that you select to the defined level, just in case you assign the wrong level to elements. There is a new feature called Quick Bend Total. This feature will give you the total number of bends within the conduit run that you select. It will also turn red if it is exceeding 360 degrees.